Welcome back. In this video, we will be covering recurring tasks in Ample Note, as well as how to hide your tasks until later. So let's jump straight into it. When you complete or dismiss a normal task in Ample Note, this task goes to the bottom of the note in the Completed tab. Completed tasks may also stay in line if you toggled the global option in your account settings. But some to-dos need to happen in the same way at regular intervals. For example, a recurring task to pay your bills or a recurring habit to work out three times a week. For that, we can use the recurrence options that AmpleNote provides. And there are two such options. Number one, fixed recurrence. This is when a task repeats at a predictable interval every day, week, month, or year. For example, a task can reoccur every day at 6 p.m. or every Monday and Friday at 10 a.m. or even every last Friday of the month. Number two, flexible recurrence. This option lets you specify when a task should reoccur based on when you mark it as complete. For example, a task can reoccur three days after it is completed or it can reoccur two weeks after completion and so on. When you choose fixed recurrence, the same reliable pattern of recurrence will be applied regardless of when you complete the task. When you choose the flexible recurrence, the next time your task will reappear depends on when you complete it. To keep your to-do list tidy, by default, recurring tasks are hidden when you complete them and they stay hidden until the day they reoccur again. Let's look at an example. If I make this task a fixed recurrence task and have it start two days from now, I can see this hiding pattern being revealed here. It's telling me that this task will stay hidden until the day the task is due, which is two days from now. So when I close the task details, my task will vanish and it will appear in the hidden tab of this note. I can also edit my task from here and change the hiding pattern if I want to. For example, I can instruct this task to always stay hidden except in a two-day interval before this task is due again. Let's jump into tasks mode to see what this looks like from here. In the default view where I can see a flat list of all of my tasks, hidden tasks are, well, hidden. I can change this if I open the settings and toggle the option that shows hidden tasks in this list, like so. I like to call this configuration to-do list mode because hidden tasks are not part of the main to-do list, which allows me to easily tell what is actionable right now. But sometimes it's useful to get a preview of what's coming up next, even if I can't do anything about that yet. For that, I can switch to agenda mode by going to the options menu and grouping tasks by the date they are due. Now, my upcoming tasks are shown, even if they are hidden recurring tasks. Note that not just recurring tasks can be hidden. In fact, any task in your list can be hidden manually for an arbitrary amount of time. To hide a task, you can simply use the hide task command like so. Then, Input the number of days you would like it to be hidden for. Manually hidden tasks go to the same 
hidden tab at the bottom of the note, so you can always check the list of things you have put off for later. And finally, let's look over some more advanced examples of task recurrence patterns. To repeat a task on all days except on the weekend, you can type in every weekday. You can also insert a comma-separated list of weekdays, for example, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. To repeat a task for a certain amount of times and then dismiss it, you can type in every day for 15 times. In AmpleNote, you can create recurring tasks that repeat based on a fixed pattern or a flexible one. Flexible recurrence is where each new recurrence depends on when you complete the previous one. Recurring tasks get hidden from your main to-do list until they are due again. And you can also manually hide non-recurring tasks too, using the hide task command.